Hey Pirates, how's everyone? So this is my third video on building Fangtooth as we played more with the targets and debated uh, our builds and our experience hitting the 100 and the 60 on map during the second VXP weekend and now this week. Um, plus new components from the Tech App TLC. Uh, some changes from my previous build recommendations. I mean, nothing drastic, but I thought I'd share. So the first one is using Magnus Drive Tree. Um, still, cloak efficiency is not a must-have, but it does help. Okay, not to mention the Mag Tree makes your subs really fast. So, nothing wrong if your subs are built with hydraulic resistors, uh, but Magnus Drive Tree is certainly the best choice. So I had two of them. I tested two of my subs with hydraulic resistors and. They performed okay, they did okay, they were able to finish uh, the hardest encounters in the Hidden uh, Depths TLC, okay? But having the cloak helps you. I mean, those mortars from the Gluts will take longer to start firing. You can hide from the enemy ships uh, as soon as you open up some distance. And if you want to open up a distance, a gap between you and them, the extra speed of Mag 3 will help. Once your ships are ranked at 60 percent and over you don't need any extra turning specials especially if you're going to have the flagship so that's another point um if you're going to have hydraulic resistors and not have the flagship you're going to be at the borderline minimum speed you need if you're going to have hydraulic resistors and the flagship you're certainly going to be okay if you have mag 3 and the flagship you're going to be super fast which means you're gonna have to drive zigzagging or stopping with the down arrow quite often. So if you want to keep enemies in range, uh, it's all about driving style. But I think uh, the extra driving required if you're too fast is worth uh, the cloak efficiency you have when you want to hide from enemies. No changes here, ablative armor three, same. No changes on the advanced torpedo tubes, except to say Kicks I fixed the display issue and the damage now is showing properly. Okay, no changes on sealed fire charge. I still recommend that special. No changes on the recommended torpedoes. Delirium, if you don't have delirium, the, the Charon torpedo is a good choice, a good second option. Okay, um, now the last, oh, the armor. So I before I was recommending all concussive armor, so D1 CT sorry, D2 CT to D5 CT or the charged armor C1 CT. Um, some further testing in the target done by not only myself, but Venom, George, TSM, a few other players and we discuss show that having the X armor, the charged X armor makes a huge difference in damage taken. So I'm going to go with one of each for now. One C1 X. 1 C1 CT. Let me go in design mode here so you can see. So one of these. And if you don't have any of those, you can either go light on armor, get D1X, okay, and get D2 CT. They build fast. They don't add much repair time. So it's either two of each or one of each and one charged armor of each or if you have two C1X, two C1CT. I know the guys with a bunch of charged armor are doing that setup. Final two specials. Um, I am going to use Guidance Scrambler. There's no need for agility system here because the Fangtooth is unreactive, so it does not get affected by the slow stack defect in the high level targets. So I'm using Guidance Scrambler. The final special, uh, there are three main options. So in one or two ships, I'm going to use Sonic Targeting. So you can see the enemy earlier by having more sonar range. The only downside of this special is that it takes two days to build. So put it in one or two ships. The rest of my ships I will be using on the other three or four. The new countermeasure loader four right here. 
Okay, it gives you 25% extra concussive reload. Okay, and I, uh, Brian did some math. Uh, we discussed that and this is the most effective if you want to increase your DPS. Okay, so your damage per second. Other options, if you don't have countermeasure loaders for, you could use simply the concussive upgrade for extra damage. This is the one that gives the least benefit of the options you can have. It gives you a 10% extra damage at retrofit level 15. You could also use... Where is the last one here? Ta -ta. Here. High velocity rounds uh, for the extra projectile speed. So your DPS doesn't change, but you will kill the enemy a bit faster because your torpedoes will travel faster and hit them sooner. So it's less time for them to be firing at you. It helps reduce your damage. Okay, so that's one other option. And I know some players are going with it, like George and Robin, I think, are going with HVR. Totally valid choice. Um... CML is another good choice. And like I said, concussive upgrade is the other choice. Okay, you could also give up on evade. Although I wouldn't, there are some torpedoes hitting you. They don't seem to do much damage, but you never know. I did some tests. It made a small difference in damage with or without Guidance Scrambler. So the build with Guidance Scrambler took a bit less damage. Okay, so, but if you don't want that, you could just actually have CML for reload and sonic targeting. So that's a choice. I could put that on one ship and Guidance Scrambler on the others. Okay, and have CML on all of them or HVR on all of them. So that's the final setup for the Fangtooth. Again, if you don't have advanced torpedo tubes, second best option is advanced concussive payload okay and the third best option is where is it uh, strike warheads one thing you might want to consider because when you kill the gluts they leave a fire field that doesn't go away you could put on one ship or two cryo battery from time to time the oh sorry not in place of this special let me put back the uh, torpedo tube. So it should be one of these two slots here. So you could put cryo battery on one of your ships. And from time to time, it will fire a special projectile that extinguishes fire field in the area. Okay. Um, so there, that's, that's a choice. I mean, you should have that on a sub or two. Okay, I'm going to put, put it in one. So from time to time, sorry, slows down the enemies and consistently uh, extinguishes uh, enemy fire fields. So gives you more room to drive around without having to worry about them. So that's the setup. Depending on the specials you use, like I said, it's going to be a 14 to 16 day build. By now it should be mostly built, so it's just adjustments. Okay, um, that's what I'm going with, plus the flagship. I don't think I'll have the flagship finished for raid time, uh, but at least it's going to be able to stay with the pack and do some damage. All right, I hope that's helpful. That's take three on the Fangtooth build, and I hope I don't have to change it anymore. Uh, and no new information on the targets, no radical changes on the targets uh, affect that build. So, going with that, CML on most of most ships, um, Guidance Scrambler. Sonic targeting on one or two and cryo battery on one. Okay, that's the entire fleet. And I hope that was helpful. So that's the base building here. Okay, take care everyone. See you next time.